Bottom half of the third inning, aces. Blue Sox all tied up at one. 9-1-2 do up for the aces here against Luke Wilkins, Fujisawa, Angle, and Wern. Righty versus lefty first pitch. Fastball that's taken up high. Count 1-0, oh. fans starting to filter on in here at Melbourne Ballpark. Yeah, there's a nice crowd here right now. Beautiful conditions. Does look a little stormy off in the horizon, but no real indicators just yet. But nice conditions, shorts and t-shirt right now. The 1-0 -oh offering from Wilkins. Fastball swung on, driven a deep right field. If it's fair, it's gone. And this is a solo home run from Kome Fujisawa. An absolute blast from Fujisawa. That's his first ever ABL home run in his second season. Obviously his first home run of the year. And it gives the Aces a two to one lead here with nobody out in the bottom half of the third. Yeah, you can see the replay. That ball's crushed right on the belt. He got the hands through, head of the bat. He knew straight away that was way gone, way over the right field wall for a long home run. Puts the Aces on top, two to one. A home run accompanied by a pose. <laughs> yes. Turn over the line of car, bring up Adam Engel, righty versus righty, first pitch fastball that's taken up high. Count one and oh, even with the wind, without it, that ball's a home run, absolutely crushed. Yeah, that ball was smashed to right field. The 1-0 -oh offering, breaking ball that's taken outside, count 2-0. Oh. Aces, two unanswered runs here after Tyler Bortnick led off the ball game for Sydney with a solo home run. Yeah, second pitch of the game, home run, put the Sydney Blue Sox on top. But this is a different ball game now, shoes on the other foot now, it's catch-up baseball for the Blue Sox. 2-0 -oh pitch, fastball that's taken on the outside corner for a strike. Count two and one. Now the Blue Sox coming into the game eight and six on the season, but they've lost three out of four dating back to their last series against Canberra. The two one offering breaking ball that's taken on the inside corner for a strike count two and two. Aces two runs on four hits and slowly but surely for it, it seems like they're starting to come alive at the plate. Yeah, it's a slow, they're a better team than what they showed in the early part of the season. We'll get to that in a minute. 2-2 two -two pitch, breaking ball in the dirt, count three and two. And, the, you know, we had made reference in the first series how, how how little time they had spent together as a unit. You know, the the uh, Cebu Lions players got here 48 hours before opening day. The under-21 guys were away. They're now back with the team, and all of a sudden they're a unit. 3-2 pitch, fastball swung on and lined into right field for a base hit. So Adam Engel, nice piece of two-strike hitting. Hit last night, single today, and a threat to go on the base pass, six stolen bases. It leads the entire Australian Baseball League. Nobody out brings up Scott Warren. And uh, just touching back on the unit thing again is, you know, there's nothing better than knowing your teammates. When you don't know them, you know, you're not sure the personalities, but they've come together as a unit now. And, you know, a win yesterday was filled and full of confidence, and you can see that they're starting to swing the bats better at the plate. Warren singled in the first, size of a lead off of first by angle, first pitch fastball that's taken just outside. And there's indicators that I always notice. Yes, the aces are on board. Now there's some action down in the bullpen for the Blue Sox. The aces need to continue to be patient and try and wear Luke Wilkins out. Make them go to the pen. Angle, two stride lead being held on by Dean. They'll throw over to first, he'll dive in safely. Fans, if you're listening in, Great ball game so far. Let us know. Tweet us at Voice of Cohen, at V O I C E of O F Cohen, C O H E N. Or tweet at Frida, F R I T A, 1 T, not 2, 51. 1 0 pitch. Fastball swung on, popped up. Right center field. Drifting back is the center fielder. Candle as he has room, makes the catch. Angle back to first. One away here in the third. I'll bring up designated hitter Brad Harmon. Long out there off the bat of Wern. Just got out in front of it, golfed it straight up in the air. Wind did carry it a long way. Ended up deep in center field. Candlers had plenty of time to get back and under that ball for an easy catch. Out number one. Keeps Angle at first base. Harmon struck out in his first at bat. He's 
riding an eight game hitting streak, not playing the field, the swift handed shortstop. Swings at the first pitch, bounces it over to third, charging in a Shepard to second for one, back over to first, not in time. That is compliments of a tremendous takeout slide from Adam Engel. There's an argument going on here at second base between Trent D'Antonio and the umpire there, Richard Mason. Manager Phil Bosian's coming out to have a chat with him. I think they're looking for an interference on the on the slide there from Adam Engel. Looking at the replay, he slid over the bag. D'Antonio purposely positioned himself on the back edge of the bag. And that's just a testament to Engel's momentum and speed. It wasn't an intentional slide if you look at it, but 6'2", 215 pounds, he's one of the faster guys in the ABL. Sometimes you can't control your body, and that was just a, an example of it. Yeah, moment, and, and let's not forget the, uh, you know, it's not a not a written rule anywhere, but the, the runner's job is to try and just disrupt the guy who's trying to make a throw. He didn't go in with any malice or viciousness in any way. He just went in there and just put his body involved in the play and just made it difficult for D'Antonio. I'm, I'm surprised he even sort of queried the slide. There was really nothing in it as far as I'm concerned. So 5-4 fielder's choice. Harmon on second brings up Deglin who swings. Sends a drive deep to right field and this ball's gone. Absolutely crushed. Kellen Deglin, team leading fourth home run of the season. Second home run for the Aces in the inning. They put up a three spot and they're up by a score of four to one. Yeah, another ball crushed off the bat this time of Kellen Deglin. Two run shot. You see the replay here. Luke Wilkins sits it on the belt. Deglin just turns, throws the head of the bat. And Trent Olchin didn't even move. He sort of watched the ball but uh, didn't move from his fielding position. He knew that ball was gone. There's two people, Deglin and Olchin, both knew that ball was gone. Brings up Dylan Cousins' first pitch fastball that hits the outside corner for a strike count. Oh, and one, so Fred, it's going to be that kind of night. Going to be that sort of night. But the the Aces really need to, for the fans more than anything, let's show some power. Let's get amongst this. The 0 1 pitch, fastball swung on, bounced down the first base side foul. I mean, last night's game, the small ball, which we've made reference to, the bunting and uh, forcing the issue and, and manufacturing some runs. That's all good, well and good to get a W. It's not that entertaining. You need to be entertaining for the fans as well. What they want to see is doubles, home runs, st stolen bases, things like that. So far, this game's had it. The 0-2 pitch, changeup that's taken in the dirt. Count one and two, remember, the home opener here at Melbourne Ballpark, Brisbane Bandits, Melbourne Aces, two weeks ago, the teams combined to hit eight home runs already. We have three today through almost three innings. 1-0 pitch, make that 1-2 pitch, changeup that's taken outside, count two and two. Yeah, there's been a number of home runs this year. Traditionally, this ballpark's a tough one to hit in, tough to hit the long ball. A lot of the time, wind's blowing in, today's blowing out. 2-2 pitch, fastball swung on, driven deep left center field. Chasing is Candelas up and it's gone. Couldn't make the grab and that's Dylan Cousins solo shot. We have back to back home runs here in the third. Third home run of the inning and the Aces are up by a score of five to one with two outs. Straight off the bat, I think Dylan Cousins thought that might have been a pop up. Went extremely high in the air, had a good swing on it. We'll get a replay in a moment. But he's strong, he's really strong. And he got the head of the bat through and really hit that ball hard. You can see him just pause there. Wasn't sure what was going to happen with the ball. Wind drifting that way. And up comfortably going out in the end, Candless made a meek attempt to uh, climb the wall, but the ball was well over. First pitch to Davies, fastball that's taken on the outside corner for a strike count. On one, I'll be completely honest with you, Frida. I thought that ball was a pop-up. Yeah, that's a straight off the bat. I think we all sort of looked and thought it was going to be a pop-up. A one offering fastball, swung on line, down the right field line, fouling out of play. You try and sort of read body language on players, and baseball is a, a fairly careful and trying to hide body language. But straight off the bat, I think Cousins thought it was a pop-up too. 0-2 oh, pitch, fastball line down the left field line foul. There's some action in the pen now for the Blue Sox. Luke Wilkins getting touched up here. Four runs at this stage of the inning, two out. 
Aces with three home runs here in the third. Solo home run by Komei Fujisawa to lead things off. Two-run home run by Kellen Deglin and a solo home run by Dylan Cousins. 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball swung on line into right field for a base hit. So the Aces starting up the hit parade here in the third. That is five hits. They've scored four runs already. And with a runner on first and two outs, be the eighth batter on the inning. The manager, so, sorry, the manager for the uh, Blue Sox is getting the hurry up signals going down into the pen. The relief pitching down there has really only just started getting going. So they're trying to hurry it up now, trying to limit the damage to this point. Four, five runs in total for this innings. First pitch to Aaron Sayers. Fastball that hits the outer black for a strike against the lefty. Count 0-1. Aces three home runs. I believe that ties a season high as Sayers. Swings at an 0-1 pitch and fouls it back out of play behind home plate. Count 0-2. Five one ball game. O2 pitch fastball swung on grounded sharply to second. It's right at D'Antonio underhands it over to second with Bortnick covering and it retires Sayers for the final out here in the third but not before the aces three home runs in the third inning solo shots by Komei Fujisawa and Dylan Cousins two run home run by Kellen Deglin. Four runs on five hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We're going into the fourth. Aces, a commanding 5-1 to one lead here at Melbourne Ballpark.